we're on the course today, son. Thin. Oh, I'll thin the shit out of that. Slice. Oh, shit. that's so far right. Sorry. Hook. Oh, that's on the other fairway. Top. Oh, I give up. If some of those bad shots I demonstrated there remind you a little bit of you, then you've definitely come to the right place. I'm Rob Davis here at the got on the course at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa. And welcome to part one of getting to golf the right way. Let's raise your game. If you're thinking about getting into golf or you've tried it a couple of times and given up or even if you're playing quite regularly but not having a great deal of success there's every chance you've got something wrong with your setup or you need to learn how to set up correctly i see it day in day out people struggling with their game uh, and literally to the point where they're giving up that they're not getting things right in their basic setup which includes grip, posture, ball position and alignment. One of the most common things I see uh, from people who are struggling with a game or what they'll naturally tend to do if they start trying to play is to grip the club incorrectly in such fashion that the club will tend to want to naturally go through the middle of the left hand there assuming you're a right hander. Um, this definitely from day one is going to cause you some problems. It's going to want to twist the club face, adding loft. Generally, people then start suffering with the ball going off to the right a lot. So just a quick little tip to get your grip right. Try and get it feeling so the club is going diagonally through the base of your little finger through to the middle of your trigger finger. Okay, so when you close your hand onto the club, you can kind of feel as though you can see two knuckles on that left hand thumb sits slightly to the right side of the handle not right over two two and a half knuckles is plenty then when you bring your right hand onto the club just run it through the base of your fingers whether you interlock or overlap or even ten finger it's not really massively important at this stage but what is important is getting it through those fingers it's going to help your wrist function and it's going to help your club face control. The next thing you need to get right is a good posture. So the posture is basically getting the right spine angle at address, standing the correct distance away from the ball. Uh, if you don't get this right, you're going to find it very difficult to hit the sweet spot on the club face. You're going to find it difficult to turn effectively and keeping your balance in the swing. So a very simple little drill you can do Taking your grip we've just talked about, if you hold the club out in front of you so the butt end of the club is around about belt buckle height with your arms just comfortably extended in front of you, feet about shoulder width apart, standing up nice and straight. So to get this club down onto the ground now, we're simply going to tilt over and forwards from the hips, allowing that club to hit the ground, then just adding a soft amount of flex into your knees. I see so many people setting up with loads of knee flex. This kind of feels quite comfy to start with, but you can see straight away my spine angles change from where it should be slightly tilted forwards from the hips. Like I say, that allows me to turn correctly and it's certainly going to help with my balance. Your arms, when you're in a good posture, should literally just hang down from your shoulders in a nice straight line, so not pushed away from you too much. If we see a big gap here between your hands and legs, definitely going to cause you issues in your swing so get that posture right from day one too so my number one bit of advice for getting into golf the right way is to get lessons from day one learn how to grip the club correctly get your posture right ball position it's all going to stand you in good stead uh, as you progress through the rest of your golfing life it's such a good game 
and you'll enjoy it even more if you can hit lots of good shots. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video. Any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, and follow us on the usual social channels. Um, thanks for watching. Well, that's a beaut. Hi guys, my name's Tom from Bumdip Productions and I film and edit all of Rob's videos. Um, I've got this little outtake that I wanted to show you. Uh, we just finished shooting the video you've just watched. Last scene was done. Audio equipment was still rolling and Roy had just taken a drive off the 17th and hit a weak slice. Rob noticed what was up with his grip uh, and I was able to quickly set a camera and tripod up and capture Rob. Just making a few little tweaks to his grip and he ended up hitting up a straight down the middle bomber. So uh, just wanted to show you what a few little changes can make. Cheers. Okay, Roy, just before you hit this, just talk, just tell me about the, the main bad shot that you tend to hit. Yeah, well, it either goes left or right. Okay, you? more to the right, would you say? Yeah. Okay, so if you just set up just as you were for me a second. Right, so this is a classic case of having a little bit of a weak left hand position okay yeah. so you tend to grip the club very much through your palm here yeah okay now that more often than not is going to add some twist actually this way right. so you're adding loft and generally the face is going to be pointing to the right impact yeah. so i'm going to move your hand oh, over a little bit more so you've got it through your fingers a bit more there okay right. all right it's going to feel a bit strange because yeah. you've done this forever okay yeah. bring your right hand on as normal yeah. okay right just go through your normal swing just see how that can help you okay so you've hit it straight down the middle with a little bit of draw compared to the first one we saw you hit which was 50 yards off to the right wasn't it okay okay no problem does it feel okay or does it feel a bit strange yeah okay that's good stick with it okay cheers